everyone, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 and welcome to another edition of the Jazz Albums Review Series. And today I am going to be taking a look at a brand new 2023 release from three of the best musicians on the scene today. And three gentlemen who, in my opinion, need no introduction whatsoever. And between these three amazing players, they have played with just about everyone. From John Etheridge to Zapatistas to Billy Cobham to Sting, to DB Infusion, to Bob Franchineski, you name it, these guys have seen it all, done it all, and played with just about everyone. And this is their newest recording for ITI Records, Trio Zone. So Trio Zone, just as the name says, is a trio recording featuring drummer Oli Uskiskin, guitarist Carl Law, and bassist Rob Staten, three of the best musicians on the British jazz circuit today. And this album was produced by legendary bassist Jimmy Haslip. And these guys sound amazing together anyway, but when you add Jimmy Haslip and put him in the producing chair, you'll know you're going to get something very special. This is an incredible sounding album, and Jimmy Haslip has done a fantastic job in the production and making this trio sound absolutely incredible. So we're just going to have a little look. So there is the trio and there is some sleeve notes about each band member individually. So this is very much a Oli Yususkin project, but at the same time, this is very much a band effort and all of the compositions are written and composed by Rob Staten and Carl Law. So Ollie doesn't really compose anything here. He's more or less responsible for putting this band together and bringing these two musicians in and letting them do what they do best, and that's compose and play their ass off. So all of the compositions are written and composed by Rob Staten and Carl Law. So we have four compositions written and composed by Rob Staten and four compositions written and composed by Carl Law. And individually, each musician sounds absolutely fantastic. Oli Uskiskin sounds very similar to Bill Stewart in terms of creating lots of different sounds on a very small acoustic drum kit. Carl Law's guitar playing is on full display with some of his best guitar work I have ever heard from him. Rob Statham is all over the album with his unbelievable rock solid bass playing and together these guys sound very tight as a unit. Now in terms of the style and sound of the music and the overall album, very heavy influence from John Schofield's legendary trio recordings. There's some influence of Bill Frisell, Jack DeJanet and Jacko Pastoris. And what Trio Zone do is they don't just copy those names that I mentioned. They take all of those influences, apply it to their music and come up with something very much their own style and sound and have their own original voice. So this is not what you would call a throwback album, although it does sound very much in the style and sound of those classic John Schofield trio recordings. Ollie, Carl and Rob together create their own unique sound. So when you hear these guys, you know straight away it's them. So they're not a copycat of those guys that I mentioned, although they do sound very similar. They're very much their own band, their own thing, their own entity, so to speak. So tracks we got here is Steady Eddie by Rob Statham, Stand Alone by Carl Law, Slow Dance by Carl Law, Return of the Jazz Police by Carl Law, Messing by Rob Statham, Crossing the Ocean by Carl Law, and Corner Pocket and Blue Shift both by Rob Statham. So it's a great collection of songs and we get to see and hear Carl Law and Rob Statham really strut their stuff and deliver some fantastic playing. Oli Ustaskin is all over the album with his incredible drumming and, as I said, doesn't get any better than this. If you like 
guitar trios or you're a fan of those classic John Schofield trio albums, highly recommend you check this out. It's a really good album. And as I said, great sounding album as well, courtesy of the legendary Jimmy Haslip. So the standout tracks for me are Return of the Jazz Police, which is the longest track of the entire album at 7 minutes and 50 seconds. Corner Pockets, Standalone and Steady Eddie, but great collection of songs from start to finish. And I've listened to this album several times already, and it's really, really good. And got to see this band recently. Fantastic show. Although it did have a different guitarist, it was still a great gig in my opinion, and very enjoyable. So there you have it, Trio Zone, highly recommended, definitely worth checking out, and you can look for this album on Bandcamp digitally and a physical copy as well. So there you have it, Trio Zone. So that's going to be it from me. I am going to wrap this up now. What's your favorite track from Trio Zone? Steady Eddie, Standalone, Slow Dance, Return of the Jazz Police, Messing, Crossing the Ocean, Corner Pocket, or Blue Shift? Or did you enjoy the entire album from start to finish? There's no right or wrong answer. We all have our favourite tracks. You know what to do, guys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave your thoughts and comments down below. And I will see all of you next time for another edition of the Jazz Albums Review Series. So until next time, Take care, everybody, and stay safe. And once again, as always, much appreciated. Thanks for listening.